Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing uh, Project Readjusted 3. This is a new game, I believe it came out. Hold on. Oh wait, I already have it bookmarked already. Yeah, when did it come out? It came out nine, just nine hours ago. And I was looking at the screenshots... And I was like, how is no one talking about this? And then I saw the video by Fusion, and I was like, oh, people are talking about it. <laughs> I'm just the only one who didn't know about it. Kind of sad. But, yeah. I was super weirded out that I didn't notice this game before. I've never seen it before. I've never even heard of the Project Readjusted series. But it looks so cool. It looks so good. So we're just going to hop right into 3. And we're not even going to worry about the other ones. Also, I can't hear anything. I don't... Why can't I hear anything for this game? My volume... I played a video to like check if my volume is working. Let me check my settings. And make sure that for some reason it's like not muted or whatever. What the heck? It doesn't even show up on my sound, on my audio thing. Like it should be, like it sh where it should show that it's playing audio. It doesn't show up there. Huh. Hold on, let me. Let me close it and then reopen it real fast. Uh, where is it? In here. There we go. Now we have audio. All right, so let's do this. Begin project readjusted three. Begin. Let me turn down my volume. I know who you are, Andrew Vargas. I have seen your name in records before. Oh, so my name is Andrew. I don't know what you're talking about. I know what you are doing. You want information. Lots of it. Okay, apparently I do. I'm no provider, but I can lead you to what you want. I have a feeling that the way you're going to lead me to it is not a way I'm going to like. I know that man, Matthew, has been nothing but a mystery to you. Okay. His image is shrouded in a dense fog that your gaze cannot penetrate. But you want to break it, do you not? You can either go the full walk or fall short. There is no try this time. Whoa, that's cool! All the information you want to grasp so, ba grasp so badly can be obtained. All you have to do is satisfy us. Okay. There are three captives full of knowledge below the storage facility. Treat them to our satisfaction, and they will live out to the fifth and final day. Okay, let me reiterate I have never played the other Project Readjusted games, so I have no idea what's happening. On that day, they will be freed. They will be able to tell you all that they know. That is what you want, right? The data you seek is waiting for you. I have no idea what's happening. Oh my god. This is the coolest thing ever. There's no mystery that a man in such desperation as yourself would press onwards. That's my human nature, is it not? No other motives. We'll have to see about that. No, wait, no, stop, no, wait, no, wait, no, that's not what I meant. 
Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean to press that. Ah, crap, dude. Oh, I can honk his nose. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm backing out of that. Nope. I did not mean to do that. I hear you can show up. There's no mystery that a man in such desperation as yourself would press onwards. That's my human nature, is it not? No other motives. We'll have to see about that. You have found yourself here for a deal. So here is how the predicament works. There are three captives held in three rooms upstairs. They hold the knowledge you seek. On your tablet, you have a security monitoring system and a supply distribution module. The supply module can be used to distribute a singular box of supplies to one of the three patients by pressing one of the three big white squares on the right. Each white square represents a room with a patient, a form of life that you must protect. Opening the gate with the button on the bottom right of the module will send out one box at a time. The type of supply is indicated by its color and the name on the bottom left of the module. You have a chance of changing where the current box is set to before the box reaches the middle of small white square. After that, your decision is final. Three meters for each of the three patients are listed below on the mini-map on the supply distribution module. We calculate the satisfaction meters based on the average of the patient's food and water supply. Your rank is determined by this average. We will set a rank to meet or exceed for every night of work. If you fulfill this duty, we will let you go for the night, as the patients can survive on their own for the rest of the night. You may now open the gate with the button on the bottom right. We will discuss the security module tomorrow. We suggest to not let this patient I have no idea what is happening, bro. Apparently these guys have the answers I seek. So, as long as I get this, at least this grade, I can finish without consequence, right? Hello? Ads for I don't know what that noise was, but absolutely not. So I just have to complete my task. Loading application. Use WASDA and... The restaurant has finally reopened after all this time. Now with animatronic performers. Boss was very persistent on letting me know the importance of regulating the animatronic's behavior. 
He wouldn't go in detail, but I understand why he holds such value to the ro to the robots. I'll go check to see if they're on stage. On a note, it reads, Friendly reminder from management about the mandatory lockdown at 3 sharp. Please take all equipment and mascot characters to floor 1, an hour prior to lockdown control. Thank you. I wonder why there is a mandatory lockdown. Yeah, me too. Alright, let's go. God, my monitor looks so dusty. I just want to wipe all of it off. You should go into the dining room. The life of the party is all there. I'm waiting for my friend. He's outside. We should hurry up then. You don't want to miss the show. I sure hope I don't I don't because of him. Wow, ah, stop. Just a crowd of kids blocking. What is this? What am I looking at? What is that? Freddy? Hold up, I'm gonna go this way. The show is awesome. I'll definitely come back tomorrow, Mr. Guardman. Okay, so I can't go that way. They thought of it already. What is that? What am I looking at right there? Aren't there, aren't there usually two animatronics on stage? Oh no. Odd, perhaps one of them is being repaired in the backstage. Finn the feline, I think. I'm not the technician, but I should check the backstage just in case. Should be right around the corner. No, man, no, 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 no. This is a bad idea, bro. This is bad. Oh my, bro. I'm gonna get jump scared, I can tell. Here's the backstage. Finn the feeling I should be in here. Oh, I knew it. That's a kid, bro. That's a kid. That's a kid. Oh, no, man. You can now visit your remaining patients in the patient hub. They may choose to speak for you, for, to you for guidance as you progress. Any information you find will, find will along the way will be restored, stored in the patient hub for later reference. That is Okay. Average story grade. Visit the patient hub. Yes. Loading application. Logged up. This is the patient hub. All of your found information is gathered here for you. Is that a party hat? Is that what that is? This is insane. You know I can't tell you anything yet, right? I'm not risking my life for that right now. We were told to not tell you anything yet. Okay. I don't think I want to talk right now. Okay. <laughs> Okay. This game is kind of wacky. It's, hmm. it's interesting because I don't know what's happening yet. I still want I, I want to know. And the knights aren't your usual knights. It's complete the task to get this grade and survive while you're trying to complete that task. It's more like um. It's more like a pizzeria simulator than it is anything else. 
because you're not working on a night system you're working on task system where once you complete the task you could just finish and you can go which i think is pretty cool i like that i like that now how many animatronics will be attacking uh hold on let me check uh my little avatar disappeared whatever we're going without him today the app I usually use to like uh, put the, all the pull up, put all that stuff on screen is um, not working well with me right now. So whatever. Let's continue tonight too. I assume this is when the robot is coming. You have successfully completed your first night. We would congratulate you. But the information you want is something we do not commemorate. Let's discuss this security module on the left side. Where'd it go? Okay. So if they are in that one of those hallways. They are in one of these hallways and they disappear from the hallway, they're most likely in with you. This is basically what I got from that whole interaction. Got it, got it, got it.
Get up out of here, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to get... I'm not trying to get, like, a perfect score on every single one of them. I'm just going to get the grade I need to get, and I'm going to get out. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I was getting... They were all right. The bush, the brushed off rumors about the places past were true. These are the same animatronics. Oh, it's 3 p.m. Sounds like the rest of the security team has come by right on time. They need to look into what I saw. Can I go back? The more experience will take a look at this. I'm not in my place to handle what's in there. What's going on here? Check the backstage. I think a child got caught in the electronics of one of the characters. Oh, we already had one of those incidents just now with the Buster character up on the stage. Two? What's going on with these robots? They'll be examined after they are escorted out. Help us get this under control to the best of your ability. Oh my, oh no, man, his whole, he's twitching, bro. Why you got him quarantined off? He is twitching. Let's do it back over here. Empty. I'd advise against going outside right now. We don't need to make this a bigger scene than it already is. What if I just want to go home, dude? <laughs> what if I just want to go home and, like, take a nap after seeing a child's dead body inside this animatronic? Maybe I just need a nap or some coffee, bro. <laughs> What's up? Go check the office. Every other room is clear. The restroom hall is clear. What's going on here? Is this the office? No, it is not. This looks like looks like this room is clear. I tried to head back up to the dining room to let the rest of the team know. What the hell is that? I didn't even go left, man. Dang it. That left was the office. Let's visit the patient up. This is the patient, yeah, yeah. I've started hearing screams. It sounded like it came from a room adjacent to mine. Maybe I'm hallucinating. After all, we are under that one old building. You know, it had that fume problem, right? So you, surely you do. You used to work there. He told us all about you. My sister used to work there, used to work there, but she hasn't touched it since. I think I've figured out why. Just don't forget about your main threat, but don't let yourself get too paranoid about it. You got this. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. This place is a crazed house, and it's all your fault. Wow. Okay. I can't believe this. You better get out of. You better get out of here in the end, with me alive. You're dead, bro. I don't even know which one you are. I started seeing some weird things recently. They were purple. Weird things. I got closer, and as I blinded myself. But, as I looked at it, it faded away. I don't know what to do. At least the leader himself isn't down here. He's very strict. He would be looking at me, making sure I was staying put and acting appropriately. 
He threatened to stop liquids from coming into my room if I didn't listen. He really wants this to go his way. So just send us supplies like he wants. At least when he when he's nearby. As long as he doesn't notice you aren't doing what you he wants, you should be fine. What? So he told me he that I used to work at this place. And he said his sister used to work there. But she stopped working there since... I'm guessing the kids? Or maybe it was some other incident that made her stop working there? And then this guy is saying that it's all my fault. That this is all happening. And then she's saying that this main guy that's talking to me on the intercom, as long as I do what he wants, everything will be fine. Or at least when he's nearby, I should be doing what he wants. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So let me know uh, what I'm missing from the old games, one and two, because like, give me a quick like summary of the story, because I have zero idea what's happening. Or maybe I'll just go back and watch videos on the old game to like catch up. Project Readjusted 3 is a non-profit Five Nights at Freddy's fan game and the final entry in the Project Readjusted trilogy. It's the final game. It is rendered and blended to 2.79 internal and programmed in Click Team Fusion 2.5 Plus. You are driven to collect pieces revolving around the, mi the man of mystery, Matthew Blank. And find yourself taking up a deal you know you could not pass up, pass upon. Little did you know, this deal has a dark catch. Hmm. Okay. I am... Um, huh. This game is really interesting. The gameplay is fun. And the story is interesting. Like, it's got me hooked. I want to know what the frick is happening. But in the meantime, between this episode and the next one, I will have learned... Uh, quite a bit about this story because I'm gonna look up a bunch of videos that explain what the frick is happening to this dude uh, We're trying to find out something about some dude named Matthew And like I don't know, but I'll learn about the story by the time the next episode rolls around And I'll probably try to beat this game like I did Mary's Because it doesn't seem that hard Defending against the animatronics, if there's multiple, doesn't seem that hard. Um, also, unlike Mary's, it doesn't seem like there's a pattern, like a specific pattern. Because that time, he was at the far side of the lens on, on the second time, on the, but on the first time, he was close by so it doesn't seem like there is pre-programmed like <laughs> sorry guys it's like 9.51 I'm, I'm tired but uh yeah I know I'm a little late to the party 
but I will be doing videos on this, even though more popular YouTubers are doing videos on this. But I'm going to keep on going because I like it and I want to. So, uh, I hope you'll join me for the next one. But that's going to be it for this video. I'll have all this stuff in the description as always. And, yeah. I'll have the creator page. I'll have the game page in the description. All that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.